time for a little secret. The hardest part of writing successful content isn't the writing itself, it's knowing what to write about. There's nothing more frustrating than staring at a blank page with no idea where to start. But don't worry, your muse is here. Today, I'll be guiding you through five content ideas that will provide you with endless streams of content. And by the end of this video, you're gonna make Stephen King look like a writing slacker. The first and easiest place to start is documenting your own journey. Ask yourself what you're working on on the day-to-day -day and write it down. Now, I know what you're going to say next, but Chris, my day-to-day -day is so boring. I'm not a Kardashian, no one cares about me. Sure, you might not be working on a new theory of relativity, but neither are the Kardashians. Always remember, the work you do will always be interesting to someone. Your most dedicated readership will come from the people that matter most to your business, your customers. Let's say you're a freelance marketer. Your clients and prospective clients would love to get a peek behind the curtain at the wizard of applause, AKA you. You don't have to share company secrets, but it could be something as simple as your daily routine or your approach to a new company challenge. To get you started, here are three simple ways to document your journey. Use meeting notes. Look through your notebook at your last few meetings, find one to two things that stand out to you, and try to center a blog post around them. Next, try sharing a failure. It's painful, but we learn a ton from our failures, and your audience can too. So, think about some missed opportunity in your business and what you've learned from it. Next, share your biggest win. On the flip side, you could write about your biggest successes. These don't have to be million dollar wins, but they could be as simple as maximizing your productivity with a new morning routine or how you landed your first customer. Stories are how we connect with each other, and people love stories with real world examples and anecdotes. Don't forget, your life is one constant stream of inspiration for those. Next up are websites like Reddit, which are full of people asking questions, AKA customers asking for solutions. Since there's literally a subreddit for everything, there's over 2 million of them, that is a ton of potential content. So here's how I recommend diving into Reddit. First, locate a relevant subreddit. Let's say you're an interior designer. Just head over to the appropriately named subreddit and search for words and phrases like, how can I dot dot dot, can someone help dot dot dot, or suggest dot dot dot. These words and phrases will help you find problems your audience is experiencing, and then you'll see a list of results matching your search criteria. Next, you can sort the posts to view the most upvoted and commented on posts that match your search words and phrases. Just take a look at how easy it was for us to come up with three content ideas from the results for our interior designer example. How to find products that match your existing design style. How to successfully work with an interior designer. The basics of paint color. The great thing about this process is that the topics are already vetted and validated for you because they've already been upvoted on in Reddit and generated a ton of discussion. This way, you know these subjects will resonate with your target customers before you ever even start writing. Ever wonder how some businesses manage to land in that coveted number one spot on Google? It all starts with keyword research, our third thing to write about when you're stuck. Picture yourself as a detective. Keyword research is the process of uncovering the search terms people use in Google. Before you ever write a single word, you'll have evidence that there's demand for your content. One free tool to help with keyword research is LSI Graph. With LSI Graph, you can enter your high-level keywords into the search field and see a list of related long-tail phrases. For example, here's what we see if we search for email lists in LSI. Using these results, you can find a bunch of keywords and ideas for what to write about next. Another great tool to generate keyword ideas is Answer the Public. Answer the Public helps you find questions people are asking Google based on keyword or phrases you enter. Here are the results from searching email marketing in Answer the Public. This is a goldmine of a tool. Almost every result here is something you could write about. For example, here are three blog post ideas from these results. The five best email marketing software products. Will email marketing die? Here's why it'll still be thriving in 2030. The complete guide to email marketing, how it helps businesses. The beautiful thing about keyword research is that it works universally across any industry or niche. No matter what topic you're looking for, these tips will help you find some things to write about. No matter what industry you're in, there's always something to talk about. If you work in construction, it could be the latest building regulations in your state or city. If you work in social media marketing, it could be new Instagram updates to their algorithm. And if you work in renewable energy, just mention Elon Musk and people will pay attention. Every industry is always evolving and changing. To win new business, it's wise to present yourself as an industry thought leader with a finger on the pulse of what's happening. And as your industry evolves, use these changes as inspiration to write about. 
Every time you see some big industry news, try to find five quick headlines of things that you could write about related to this news. For example, here are three post ideas based on the Instagram guides launch. What guides means for the future of Instagram. From filters to guides, a history of Instagram feature releases. What I learned from Instagram's first guides. Even if you don't write any of these posts, it's good to start flexing that creative muscle. Train yourself to look at news stories and industry changes as potential topics to write about. For number five on our list, we want you to go deep. Think about the reasons you wanna write. Are you looking to grow your brand? Get your name out there? Maybe it all comes down to generating revenue for your business. To achieve any of these things, you need to put your customer first. Imagine that you're Christian Bale, preparing for the biggest role of your life, the role of your customers. The best way to do this is to become them with your thought exercises. Step into their shoes by asking them directly about their daily work lives. What's frustrating them? What are their biggest challenges? Their biggest worries? When do they feel happiest at work? What's taking up too much of their time? The answer to each of these questions can spark a whole cascade of things to write about. Your customers are the most important part of your business. Without them, your business doesn't exist. So create content that speaks directly to them. And that just about does it. But before we leave you with your final challenge, give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful for writing your next piece of content. And now for your challenge. I want you to go find 10 things to write about right now. You can find the full action list in the video description below. And once you come up with them, leave them in the comments below so other people can see what you're thinking about. On our list, we want you to go... I think the way to build when you're stuck for all days. Quiet on set. To get you started, here are three sim four. Four simple ways, but it's really three. Next. <clears throat> Next. <laughs>